Welcome back to Mega Man Legends Wednesdays. I am your host, Alex, also known as Solonis Dracone. And here we are in the middle of Lake Jiyun, after having just finished up fighting that massive, ferocious, frog beast, monster, robot thing. So now we have the second of the three big gate areas we're going into, and this one's a good one. Big, impressive door opening like before. Yeah. Let's get it on. Okay, and we're probably going to have Roll squawking at us a little bit here. So I'll try not to interrupt her. As usual, map stuff out. Alright, Mega Man, let's get started. Surprise? I upgraded the support equipment to the boat. I should be able to package your spotter from here, too. I wonder if that old fellow used to be a bigger too. Good times. So yeah, she suspects that old Wowie might have been a spotter. Here we have a slightly upgraded version of some of the uh, other Reaver bots we've been facing. They're red-ish. Brick red, I guess and they shoot fireballs. So it's a good idea in this area especially to check all the holes and all the chests because there's some good loot to be found here. Not so much the Zenny, but this is a very important part that's going to play deeply into how we play this game coming up ahead shortly. Just dodge out of the way of that fireball real quick. Good times. I do love my vacuum arm. Now, our biscuits. All right. Got this area more or less sort of kind of cleared out. little bit more. Ah, damn it. Woo -hoo -hoo. There we go. That's better. Alright, do the, uh, do the quick runabout. Now we're probably gonna be exiting this area slightly and heading back out to do a little bit of stuff. Because we found old hover jets and these are damn useful. There's one other bit of equipment in here that I want to get. Hover jets are extremely important in this game. Not only are they able to get you around faster, but they play into a lot of the mini games that you're going to play in this. Oh god, these guys are a pain in the ass. You hit them enough times, they flip over. And then they flip over again. And it's just a pain. I don't like dealing with them, but, you know, what can you do? I'm just going to try and run past these guys and ignore them largely. Yikes. Stuff's getting intense. Starter key. What did you find? From these readings, it looks like a starter key. That means there's pro- Gatling part, also nice. Yeah, I interrupted Rolla mid-sentence, and I got knocked over by this fucker. I'm a bastard. It's not hard to figure out how this is going to work. Very simply, three starter keys, there's a place we use them. End of story. Gatling parts go into making a, I think it's a buster part, although I'm not entirely certain. It could be another special weapon. Piss off, you wankers. Don't care. A ring. Also an important thing. For different reasons, obviously, but still important. Okay. Mega Man, what can you see up there? I'm not picking up anything on my monitor. I don't know. I've got a bad feeling about this. 
I'm sure you do, honey. Starter key! Found the second. There's one more in this place. Just gonna map things out. And try to head on around this room just a bit. Just doing the mapping. There are some pretty dangerous mooks in this area. Real nightmare stuff. But I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to take this a bit slowly here. You heard that noise. Somebody just dropped down. Something secret. Oh yeah. I am just daring the damn thing here. Tempting fate like a boss. Oh, zero fucks given that day. Let's look at the map. I think we more or less got this. Yeah, in case you couldn't tell, there are invisible of those motherfuckers down there. They are harsh, too. And they're just here all over the place. Joint plug! Excellent. It's definitely something I wanted. Oop, 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 oop. About to get caught. Ooh, son. Alright. Made it through that. All this for mapping. It's just a thing I completely elect to do on my own. It's probably boring as hell. But I guess it does kind of give you a good opportunity to look around the area. And if you don't catch every corner, you might miss something. Goody goody gumdrops. And the final starter key. Well, at least Roll's not nagging us repeatedly. Refractor shard, great, some zenny. That can be useful, I'm sure. Yeah, oh yeah, they're out there and they want my ass. Alright, I'm gonna just plumb in a little bit further. Because... There's a little bit more to get in here. You know, I'm pretty sure I missed that platform. I'm not so worried about it, I know where it is. There's no completion map bonus in this game. Now this area is just harrowing. And I'm just making a quick in and out to get it over with. I'm gonna be heading back out as soon as I'm done in this general area. Because I am not ready to deal with all the crap. Now as you can see this is one of those fade to black moments when we are going through a door. Which indicates that what we're entering is a completely different section of the subgates, so it actually instigates a loading zone. And this is basically just the uh, space between the main gates. Here we got some walls that are obviously breakable with the right part. And in here we got a treasure chest. As usual, I'm doing the runabout. Got Rapid Striker, that's a good thing to get our hands on. Okay, we got what we came for in this side. And there's one more side to go to. So let's do it. Oh, black screen. You are my only friend. Just run straight across to another door that is exactly similar. I should edit these screens out, but gosh darn it, they take so little time, in essence. Just a second or two. Yeah, this is, this is no area that we need to be in, because we don't have the drill arm yet. Okay, so that's all the swag I wanted to get from this area. Gonna go ahead and head back out and uh, get my upgrade. And these are some real good parts right here. 
Yeah, notice the, uh, the alligator beasts. Nope, not worth sticking around. These things do a number on you. They will mess you up. Yeah, I did map out this little spot, okay. Whoa! Well, somebody came out in a sweet spot. Hell no, I ain't fucking with you. Piss off. I'm wondering, these parts that I got already in my thing? Let's see. All right, let's see. Rapid Striker increases the rapidity up to, which I'm sure is useful, but it's not going to be as useful as the energy. So the joint plug that we got is the item that actually allows us to uh, get three Buster parts equipped at once. Uh, when we turn it into roll and have her convert it to goodness, then that is exactly what we get. Now something to also note when we went through those little load zones and those doors and the big old alligator fish room thing, that uh, counted as exiting the area and thusly everything is respawned. Ow. Damn it. Stop sucking. Really, bro? Really. Really, 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 bro. It's GTFO. Turn to the surface? Hell yeah. So this is a bit of a pain. You have to go all the way up to the surface. You got to get in the boat and head back. It's impossible to run over the edge, by the way. What happened to my look? Thought I could look with. Never mind. Mega Man, do you want to go back to the town? Yes. And yep, just a time skip over here. Great. So let's head into our car. Head into our car. Get the hell out of the fish place with all these little load screens. God, takes so long. And we're going to get some development done, so let's talk to Roll. And item development. Okay, I'll take a look, alright? Yay! The joint plug was used to make adapter plug. I've got something for you, Mega Man! It's something to attach to your Mega Man Buster. Until now, you've only been able to use two parts. Simultaneously, right? Well, with this, you'll be able to use three. Different parts at a time. See, they could have fit so much more text in there anyways. What do you think of that? I like it. Is that, that's it? That's all? Okay. Um, also, let's talk. What a wonderful little ring! Did you really find it underground? It's so nice. Well, why don't you keep it, baby? You mean I can have it? Wow, thank you so much, Mega Man. I promise I'll always wear it. Um, is that the only thing you have for me, Roll? Come on. Damn. Well, maybe we'll make it. I don't want you to find something to... All right. Well, let's go ahead and talk to Data then. Damn, I thought I already had my jet skis. Oh well. Let's save just because watch the game crash or some stupid shit happen. I don't want to have to redo that whole section. Save complete. And leave this shit. So let's take a quick look at our special items. Pretty sure that this doesn't need to be activated. And damn, I do not have the buster parts. Or I'm sorry, I don't have the, the turbo skis. Oh well, I can put a third thing on and turbo battery is exactly what I want. What that does is increases the amount of bullets I can have on the screen at any given time, and that effectively increases my power exponentially. Or at least, you know, summarily. I don't do math. Okay. Let's head back out to the lake. It's the boat. Call roll. What else do I need for the jet skis? I'm trying to remember. Well, I'm sure I'll figure it out. Now we're going back down. 
This time we're just gonna kinda shotgun it, although I will demonstrate some of my mad new skills on these little micro reaver bots here. See, I can have more bullets on the screen at one time, and much more easily uh, get these enemies knocked aside. Yep, seven bullets at a time instead of three, I think that's worth it. Every plus one energy gives you plus one bullet at a time. any am I sitting on? Not a whole lot. Hmm. Fuck you. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and head out. I think I actually have to go to another section altogether, to another place, in order to get the other parts needed for the jet skis. Just trying to remember where those are. I know they can't be out too terribly far. I've explored this room in its entirety. Well, I am not about to go taking on these invisible fucker bots. I don't really know what to call them. To me, those are the true Reaver bots. Those are the real assholes. Of course, these guys are the real, real assholes. The mad real assholes. Do not spend any time taking these guys on. Seriously, though, I am used to having the jet skis at this point, so I'm a little off-kilter. It's not going to be necessary for the upcoming fight in this gigantic-ass fucking room. That is so obviously a gigantic-ass fucking room. With a suspicious thing in the middle of the floor. Yeah. Nice foreshadowing that. Let's do the usual runabout. Cross the center. And see what this thing is. Is there anything there? I'm not picking up anything on my radar. Oh yeah, nothing at all, Roll. Not a damn thing. Completely and totally nothing. If I'm and... reading this right, there's a huge refractor there. We should be able to repair the flutter with one that big. Yep. But you know I'm gonna map out the room before I touch this thing. All right, let's take a good look at it. It's nice. It's a great big red crystal. It's all the keys. Dot, dot, dot. What do you do? Lower the shield, fool. That's a big, pretty red one. Nothing, man. And what are you gonna do about it even if you see something with that big ass thing in your hands? Hmm, that's funny. No alarms or security devices? Be careful, Mega Man. I don't like the looks of this. You don't gotta tell me that. I don't like the looks of it either, because look what I'm about to run into. Mega Man! I'm picking up a reaver bot signal. It came out of nowhere. It's a big one. The readings are going off the scale. Fuck. Oh, look at this asshole. God damn it. You gotta deal with this shit. All right. This is a big ass bugger right here, and I have planned to fight him the exact same way I fight every single big boss, and that is just run around the room in circles, vaguely pointing at his head. Be ready to jump whenever he does his big leap back there, and you actually have to get quite a bit of air time here to be able to actually hit his head. We staggered him. It looks like you damaged him. Keep it up, Mega Man! Yep, just running around and around. Whoop, whoop, whoop. 
there is no boss that cannot be mastered by the running around in circles trick. They are all susceptible to it. Their AI simply cannot keep track. I hope he drops some crystals. Ow. Well, I screwed that one up. I'm not picking up any Reaverbot signals anywhere. It looks like you got him. I sure as hell did. And I've got 24,000 zenny total to show for my trip into this place, which is not great. Am I seriously missing? I don't know. I'm gonna have to do some research into finding out why I don't have the jet boots. But do not stick around and have fun with these guys. Crap. Yeah, just GTFO. Alright. Did I miss something in this room? Is there a, a wall that I didn't look in? I'm pretty sure there's no secrets in this room. No, I got everything. I'll do some looking around. Take a look at the uh, special or the normal items, yeah. Old hover jets and a Gatling part. Yeah, what else is required for that? Mm -mm -mm. I'll be wikiing it, don't you worry about that. Yep, pissing off. I don't think I left and entered. I don't know, did I go to another area? I don't recall. You must be getting hungry, Mega Man. I made some apricot pie. Are you up for a slice when you get back? Apricot pie. Oh, roll's gonna cook for me. Oh, that just makes me feel warm inside. Turn to the surface? Yes. Alright, and we've got one final thing to get sorted before we are done with the episode. Yes, I want to go back to town. Come on. Ooh, cutscene. Okay, I'm fresh out of ideas. You know, what bothers me most is that while we're sitting here, he's out there digging up all sorts of stuff. Calm down, Teasel. You're going to burst. He won't lead us to the treasure. No one will as long as that big door is still locked. All we have to do is make sure we get rid of him before then. Right? So what if he digs up a few scraps here and there? He can keep that garbage. All we're after is whatever's behind the main gate. Right, Teasel? You know, you're absolutely right. Then that will be our new plan. We'll wait for him to open the main gate. We'll let him keep whatever he finds until then. He'll see. It'll be the Bonds who have the last laugh in this game. That's right! <laughs> Wow, Teasel's voice actor really got into it. And Tron is, you know, she's just being the mommy of the team, keeping everybody's morals up. Gotta love Miss Tron. One final little uh, climactic point of the episode to go. I didn't find any special shit. Nothing to bring to the museum. Oh well. We'll do a mop-up episode one day. Hey, Roll. I don't believe it, Mega Man! It's a red refractor! With this, we should be able to repair the flutter! Hooray! Let's go, Mega Man! Let's go fix the flutter! Let's do that shit. Mega Man, could you take care of the refractor? Okay. Finished.
It's ready. Okay, I'm all done here, too. I'm going to fire up the engine, Mega Man. You grab that blue lever there. Gotcha. This one, right? Yep, on my mark. Ready. Cell switch on. Refractor rotation speed increasing. Engine field generation at 80%. Safety lock check. Initiating countdown. Three, two, one. Mega Man, now! Here goes. Metastatic field operational. Pair production active. Come on, fly. We're flying! It worked! You did it, Roll! We're flying! We're flying! Well, I still have a lot of work left, but we should be able to get around the island at least. And you'll be able to reach that cave now, too. Let me know when you want to start a dig at the cave, and I'll take you there any time. Wow, Mega Man. Just getting all excited and shit, right? Well, they're happy. They're happy about this shit. So, okay, now we're inside the flutter. This is our little home. This is where we can uh, kick back and relax. And I think we'll save that for another episode, because I'm about done here. So, thank you very much for watching. Once again, I am Alex, also known as Solonis Dracone, and this has been Mega Man Legends Wednesdays. Thank you very much, and goodbye.